Congress is expected to give final approval to that nearly $800 billion stimulus plan by the end of the week. But will it get, uh, it will get little support from the GOP, possibly zero Republican votes in the House and only three in the Senate. Well, joining us is Congressman Dave Camp. He's a Michigan Republican. Congressman, good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you. Um, so are you pleased with the bill as it now stands? Well, I'm not, because it's really over a trillion dollars when you add in the debt payments. And just late last night, breaking news, I got a letter back from the Congressional Budget Office, which helps evaluate legislation that we're about to pass. And it says that even in 2013, this bill legislation will have no effect on the economy. And years after that, it actually hurts the economy. That's what we're getting for a trillion dollars? I don't think that's good enough. We had an alternative, a proposal that would have given us twice the jobs at half the cost. Are you so sure about that? I am. We use the same methodology that the uh, the Democrats used to evaluate the job creation in their bill, mm -hmm. and it was um, a methodology created by the head of the National Council on Economic Advisors. So we're using their data, their research, to evaluate our legislation. Um, let me ask you about the negotiation process, because I know you've got a letter that's gone out. Um, you're one of the Republican conferees working to come to a deal on this stimulus package. Give us some insight into these meetings in terms of what was going on and, and your involvement. Well, there really wasn't a conference. I mean, this proposal was announced by uh, about an hour and a half before the conference even met. The conference consisted of us making opening statements, and it was gaveled and adjourned. Uh, that was all on C-SPAN, so the public can see that if they want. I think this is what happens when you do things behind closed doors. You get a trillion-dollar mistake that ends up not growing the economy as it should and doesn't create the jobs that it should. Mm -hmm. and, and there are better alternatives. We'd like to see just a more effective way of, of approaching this problem. Congressman Camp, just got about 40 seconds here. None of the House Republicans voted for the first version of the bill that passed. Do you expect more people to really change their minds on this bill? And just quickly, if you could. Well, this, there may be a handful, but look, this could have had 80 percent votes in the House and Senate if it had really been bipartisan and been open and, and the public been a part of this. But uh, I think because of that, it'll have just a few. All right. Got to leave it there. Congressman Cap, thank you so much for your time Thanks this a morning. Lot.